All right, uh, Bishop Zipo Siwa, the presiding uh, bishop of the Methodist Church of Southern Africa, back on the line. Bishop, I wasn't clear. You were saying there needs to be some sort of investigation now. I said his views are very clear about women, and he's been uh, ministering to women for years. So are you saying that there will be an investigation and he will still be allowed to minister this weekend, say? I think you... you you are, you are mixing two different things. I had said initially that I will not be speaking on the merits of the case. One, the pros disciplinary processes of the church uh, are, are underway. And so I cannot comment on that. The second thing is that uh, uh, sanction follows due process. So there is due process taking place. I cannot... Uh, preempt what the outcome is going to be. It's going to, it's going to come out of the due process which is underway. Will he be allowed in, the, in a church this Sunday? You are asking me to comment on the outcomes before a due process has taken place. I cannot do that. I'm just asking if he'll be allowed to minister in a church this Sunday where women are present. That decision will be taken by the due process which is underway. The thing is, uh, Bishop, that these views, he must have held them for years and years. He must have told other men. Uh, we know that's how patriarchy works. So speaking openly, sort of when you're in a, in a men's club, that means other, others in the Methodist Church must have known. Madam, we agree with you. That's why we issued a statement that condemns what has happened. And secondly... That's why we have initiated processes to deal with the matter. And so once the matter is concluded, it will be known publicly as uh, what uh, uh, the sanction has is on this particular case. But we cannot, even before we listen to the other side, the, the question of the natural justice, you don't jump and say, uh, this is what I've had, this is the verdict, and this is the sentence. You put the whole process in the due process and i said that the due process is underway as we speak all right you have uh, it sounds like agreed with the anc that he will not officiate the january the 8th statement who will do that we have not agreed with the anc the anc is an independent body they decide whom they are going to deploy but they have issued a statement that they will not allow him to participate officially on the january 8th they don't have to ask for our permission to do that. Mm -hmm. Because they are an independent organization. Have they have got their own processes. Have they asked you for a replacement? They will look for a replacement. They informed us out of courtesy to say that we'll not allow your minister to participate. That say we we'll support that. Uh, as for the replacement, it's for them to look for a replacement and ask for any church because the ANC is not only the Methodist Church, it's not, it's not the Methodist Church. Mm. They can ask the Methodist Church or any other church to minister to them. Bishop, finally, so I hear you saying there's, there's going to be a process. You said it's unfortunate you've distanced yourself uh, as the Methodist Church from what he said. Is that enough, given what was said here? Clearly, it's not enough. That's why there's a process which is underway. It is not enough. Uh, you have to deal with the individual's concern, but also draw out some lesson as to what is it that we need to do going further, not only with the two individuals, but uh, with the question of patriarchy and, and, and insensitivity to gender. All right. Uh, thank you very much. The presiding bishop of the Methodist Church of uh, Southern Africa, Bishop Zipo Siwa. Uh, unfortunately, he cannot even tell us if uh, the other bishop who made these statements, uh, Mahana, will be allowed to minister in a church this weekend. We take a short break.